hello everyone welcome back to my channel ui part tutorials so in the last video i have shown you some of the questions on re framework and in today's video i have prepared some of the ui ard certification questions on the activities and the properties so i have mentioned some of the questions here which will be totally on the activities and some of them will be scenario based and i have also provided a four options from where you have to choose one and in the end of the every question i am going to explain you the whole question in studio for the better understanding now let's start with the question one the bot is reading below data from read range activity and storing it in data table variable name dt input now the bot is reading a data with the help of that read range activity and storing it one of the variable which is dt input and the developer is filtering the data with the help of filter data table activity as shown in figure 3 shown in figure 3 let's see the figure 3 so this is nothing but a filter activity where the developer has passed the dt input and the output is storing it into dt output variable which is also of data table type in the note in filtered rows tab there is no condition defined and in output columns tab all three columns are removed so basically we are having the two tabs if you see figure 3 we have we are having two tabs one is filter rows and one is output columns so in the filter rows there is no condition defined but in the output columns the developer has defined the three columns name city and the salary so if you see in the figure 1 we are reading exactly only the three columns basically name city and salary because in the excel file only these three columns are present and the bot is reading the whole excel file now the question is what is the output of dt output dot columns dot count dot two string of right line so let's see the figure that is mentioned here now the sequence is where we are having a read range activity through which the developer is reading the filter activity dot xlsx file and then it is filtering with the help of filter data table activities where it has supplied dt input as an input and storing the output in dt output variable in the right line the developer has mentioned that dt output dot rows dot count dot to string so that he can print the output of the the count of the dt output which is of data table type the options given here is one is is there will be an error object reference not set to an instance of, of, of object or the count is equals to 3 the count is equals to 0 or there will be an error that no column found so which will be the correct answer I hope you have already guessed it now let's see the answer so the answer is B the count is equals to 3 most of us will be confused here because if we are removing the columns all three columns then we thought like there will be an error because if there are no columns present then what will be what will the DT output storing in it so this is uh, something a tricky question 
which I have faced in the in my certification it is you will find the similar type of questions not exactly the this one but yes maybe there can be a chance that the same question can be present so just be prepared with the filter data tables properties and everything that will going to help you in the ui ard exam now let's go to the studio to check this question how exactly the things are happening here why the count is equals to three let's go to the studio now here i am reading it through the read range this is the excel file we have a filter data table activities and it is configured as where we don't have any condition in the filter rows but in the output columns we have defined name city and there is one more column salary let me define that also okay now i have defined all three columns here in the output columns but i want to remove these columns now let me run this program if you see the count is three now let's check what is happening exactly i'll write this dt output with the help of right range activity into the same file but on the sheet 2 okay i have checked already the add headers now let's run it again let's check out the filter okay so if you see the sheet 1 this is our data and the sheet 2 if you see the same data is copied here the same data is copied here so if we are removing the three columns then the bot will going to put all the columns it will not going to remove all the columns from the existing dt now if i make it empty and saving it and now what i'll do here i will remove this salary column here now what will be the output let's run it so if you see here the rows count is 3 that's fine it will always be a 3 but what is the data let's see it so if you see here only the salary part is included here because we have removed this column from the from the column selection mode which is removed now what this activity is doing it is removing the name and the city columns and it is including the salary column only so this is how this filter activity works so always remember it when you work in the columns, it's all the columns is mentioned here, which is present in the DTs. And you want that you want to remove it, which is which will never be a case. But yes, this is something a tricky because this was asked in the UIAD exam. We get confused here thinking that there will be all columns removed, then there might be an exception occur. So no, the rows will always be the count will always be a three here in the case where if all the columns has been defined or if the question can be asked here not on the rows but on the columns also if i put here the columns dot count and if you see here 
I am removing the two columns from here that means the count should be 1 let me run again okay if you see the count is 1 similar way if I add the salary here and then if I am running it again now the count will be 3 you see the count is 3 because there are 3 columns so just remember it and just when you are reading out the question just keep in mind that what exactly the question have it is having the dt output dot rows dot count or it is having the dt output dot columns dot count so in our question it's rows actually which is always be a 3 here because we don't have any condition defined so we have done with the question 1 let's move further now let's move to the question 2 where bot is reading a below data and storing it in data table variable name dt input the similar question where it is reading this particular data with the help of read range and storing it into the dt input variable now the developer is filtering a data with the help of filter data table activity as shown in figure 3 the same thing let me show you show it again this is the filter wizard here note in filter rows tab the condition is defined as is shown in figure 3 now if you see figure 1 this is the data we have this three columns we are having with the name city and the salary we have three rows here where for Rahul the salary is 40,000 for Gaurav is 50,000 and Kisle is 60,000 figure 2 is defined here where the developer has created two variables one is dt input another is dt output whose variable type is data table here in the figure 3 in the filter activity wizard the dt input is passed here and the dt output is passed here now in the filter rows in the previous question the developer has defined the columns in the output columns tab basically so here the question is on filter rows now if you see the filter rows tab is selected here and the remove radio button is clicked the condition is the name contains Rahul the city is equals to Gurugram and the salary is greater than 50,000 now this is the condition these are the conditions defined here in the filter rows moving forward what is the output of dt output dot rows dot count dot two strings now if you see below screenshot here it is reading a data with the help of read range this is the filter data table the developer has used now in the right line it is mentioned as dt output dot rows dot count dot two strings so basically what is the output of this right line now the sum of the options defined here one is error is there error object reference not set to an instance of object or the count is equals to 3 option b option c is count is equals to 0 and option d is errors no rows found okay let's go to the answer the answer is c the count is equals to zero to explain this question let me go back to my studio this is the excel file which is having a data where three columns is defined here name city salary 
the bot is reading this filter activity excel file now in the filter data tables check the filtered rows where the condition is defined as if the name contains Rahul if the name contains Rahul so bot will going to remove this rows because we see is we are not keeping the rows we are removing it the condition is or the city is equals to gurugram now the city is equals to gurugram you see only one record is there so it will going to remove this record also now or the salary is greater than 50000 so if you see if the salary is greater than 50000 the record is rahul no gorav no kishle yes 60000 so bot will going to remove this row also now if there is no row present then the output will be zero <coughs> let me comment this part because we do not require this for now i am running this let's see the output so the output is zero because the bot will going to remove all the three rows on the basis of these conditions so this is very important questions because in the UIARD exam they usually ask this type of questions where they will going to mention some of the conditions here there can be and or and or anything can be there and on the basis of that they will going to ask you what is the output in the right line so these are the two questions for now i have defined here for the filter activity in the next video i'll come up with the new activities in the similar way i will going to mention the questions and the options answers and then i'm going to explain it in the studio thanks for watching my video have a great day bye bye